Hey everybody, this is Amit Kumar and you are watching Winstech Solutions. Welcome back again. Today's tutorial is focused on replication of data from a single source to multiple targets. So in this video, I am going to replicate data from one table to three target tables filtered by different business segments for example i do have a customer table and i have customers from different countries and different categories and different divisions and based on the different divisions i'll propagate data of customers to three different divisions and for this i'll create three different tables based on the first division which is north america second division south america and the third division is emea so the data from customer table which consists of all customers will be replicated to three different customer tables which will have individual customers from individual divisions so let's begin with this video before that i would request if you are new to our channel please like the video and subscribe the channel so let's get started So for this today's session, we will see in the sequence of data base we have we have one source. Let's say this order DB is going to be our source, and we will create two destination databases to which we will transform or we will we will replicate the data. So uh, let us understand our data first. I do have this uh, order db and here we have tables and let's go with customer table and let's see how the data has been represented over there okay you know this would be the real-time scenario in your work also like when you working then this is our main master table our main big table from which you need to segregate the data of EMEA and store in another table you need to segregate the data of North America and store in another table same way you need to segregate the data of South America and store in another table how do we do this okay so I have to create a new task here Customer to CST to CST EMEA. Okay, this will be one table, one replication task. Okay, so first of all, as you told, I have to create endpoints. Source endpoint order DB is already there, so I need to create target destinations. Name of the target destinations I have changed, so I need to create it once again. Okay, so I have to go to first what I have to do here when I enter to the task. This task is all about CST2, uh, you know, customer EMEA. Same way, I have to create. Um, three tasks here one is the target uh here in the start uh, endpoint target new endpoint connections tpl Okay, so it's a target table and SQL SQL server. No, see, there's no error. Okay, so target is ready and SQL server authentication. Let's say and 
I'll browse the table. What table it should be? It's target dead. Uh, target order DB, okay. Target order DB. Server is localhost. Test connections. So the test connection succeeded. So let's move on. And same way, um, okay. What I have created, I close. So first of all, I'll drag this uh, source on a DB and target on a DB. So it's a database to database mapping. So the specific table are selected here. So further, I have to go forward and then select the tables over here. Okay. So go to table selections. Here, as I told, you can simply give all search. So uh, what's our intention is, uh, our, our intention is to take the customer table. Okay. So we'll double click that, our table property. So you will have it uh, here, uh, table name, it will be hyphen customer hyphen EMEA, okay, DBEO is a schema name. What is the transformations I have to do here? This table which will be generated in the uh, you know, destination database or a target database will be named as customer EMEA. I want the filters. What filters is uh, required to be here? In the customer table, filter conditions would be division name, division name. Upon this field only, you would apply the condition, right? If you want to add more conditions also, you can. Like the customer from X country, customer from Y country, you should go to the particular table, like that. So, expression builder, here, I have chosen this, uh, you know, division name, and uh, equal to, Okay, I simply double click this, okay, and it added the field name like this is equal to is not like this, actually, it should be it's not equal to symbol is like this, equal to symbol is like this here, okay. And if you want to add more uh, conditions like add or like this, you can also that is EMEA. Okay, so it has been passed. Let us check it. Okay, save this condition. Now I'll run this tag. So now I'm going to take uh, you know data from only EMA to another table. See the output, it's loading and once it will be completed, it will be showing the completion status as one. So it is completed. Let's see the output, what it is, how it, uh, how it works, and let's see the destination table. Alright, so this is the source table from the order DB, and let's see in the table of this one. Are we getting this customer EMEA? Yes. 
we didn't have the customer EMA earlier in this uh, target on DB, right? Now it is only this one. Are you able to see any other divisions apart from EMA over here? It's only this one. If you want to cross check, just see this one. Distinct. Like this. It's only one, uh, you know, division which has been added to this customer table, right? So we got this data segregated, right? So how easily we can do it with this tool? Okay, we will try multiple uh, creating multiple tasks. One task we did see basically for one activity. Uh, so three tasks will be created and these three tasks will be created one after another when you execute it. Okay. So same way, I have to create one more task. New task. CST North America, okay. So, I don't need to create a source and destination again and again, okay, because the same table is going to the same database. Source is this, because this source is taking the data from model DB, this, you know, end, uh, endpoint is taking the data to target order DB, and inside that, in the database, it doesn't do select a particular table for that we have to choose the tables okay now we have selected once again in a and table selections when you select the tables but uh huh, yes the target table is different no. right uh, target table uh, table will be created dynamically it has to be different yeah, target right? table will be created dynamically here the database is same database is target or db okay this has been added okay the table is there choose the table and table settings or you can double click over here to open the table settings dbo here i have to give the name customer na no transformation needed over here only we have to filter it Filter the data. What I have to do? Tell me here. Yeah. Yeah. It's better to go with the expression builder without writing because that might uh, invite to a wrong scenario. <laughs> expression builder and here you choose the particular field. It is added. This is a normal syntax and equal to. Equal to sign is normally here double, double uh, equal to. Okay. In a single code, pass the field name, pass the expression. So, expression has been passed, so that's why it's showing the output list. Okay, fine. Okay, up here, save it, execute this task. Completed. All right. Now go to this uh, target. Refresh. You got this North America, right? Data has been scheduled and we get the data of North America. So, same way, uh, one by one, three tasks has been created for North America, uh, South America and EMEA. And when you execute and when you schedule this uh, uh, task, one task will be scheduled on 
timely fashion and another two task will be dependency task that means once first task is completed second task will be started and so on so our three task has been uh, executed and the data from one table has been propagated or replicated to three different tables and that concludes this video see you in the next video till then thanks for watching bye bye